Hey there, it's Stacy Phillips here, and this is, um, gosh, would it be day three in Paris already? Wow, that's just crazy. Um, I'm here on my houseboat. I'm on a, uh, uh, the River Seine, as you can see across the river there. There's there's uh, the river and some government buildings, I think. Um, there's the Bir Hakim Bridge and the Bir Hakim uh, Metro. I'm on a pedestrian walk as well, so if you see me kind of piping down real quick, it's because um, there's people walking by, as you can see. So, you can So, <clears throat> that's actually my access into the boat, and it's not that pedestrian walk, which is really cool, because I can come right down from the Beer Hakim um, Metro stop and just get right in my houseboat. So, <clears throat> location-wise, uh, I just have no complaints. I have no complaints at all period with this houseboat is wonderful. But I am here, as you all know, to run a marathon and I'm uh, running it on Sunday. Today is Sunday, but it is next Sunday that I'm running it. So I have still a full week to sightsee and prepare. Um, <clears throat> for those who don't know yet, uh, I have come from being class four super obese, um, weighing 272 pounds to um, uh, class, well, I guess class of healthy. <laughs> BMI. My BMI was um, <clears throat> over 47 when I began this process four years ago, and uh, through the process of doing uh, the plan that uh, uh, helped me develop a healthy mind, it gave me the support and accountability of a health coach, and it put me in the bio network of support, <clears throat> meaning Dr. Ace Habits of Health, and um, just incrementally um, adding those habits of health into my life. So um, I did uh, first go from a place of <clears throat> obesity to a healthy weight because that's the first step on our program. And at that point, um, I began to uh, increment healthy movement into my life and uh, then transitioned to maintenance and uh, trained for this marathon. So <clears throat> it's, been, it's been kind of a four-year process for me um, in maintaining a healthy BMI for a couple of years, which I did, which is wonderful to really developing this dream of being in Paris for the Paris Marathon. So here I am. Here I am. Um, it's Words really can't uh, describe how I feel right now. Um, so I was looking back in my notes of my, of my iPhone to see what notes I had in the last month or so because I always like to jot down um, ideas that I have for, for blogs or video logs and things like that. And they usually come to me when I'm running. So I just kind of stopped them and put them in my phone real quick. And one of the things I had here was it uh, was written February 17th, uh, and it was called No Regrets in Paris. And I basically said, you know, how I conduct myself for the next 40 days will determine whether I have regrets in Paris or not. And <clears throat> what does that mean? Well, that meant for me that, um, you know, I was getting to the end of my training, and I could either finish my training or not finish my training. And, um, you know, I was going to finish something. And I wasn't going to have any regrets that I didn't, um, I didn't give my best. I didn't, I didn't, um, you know, I had my chance and I flipped it, you know, as, the, as they uh, talk about in the Quiet Man video. You had your chance and you flipped it. You know, do you ever, do you ever plan things out and then um, sabotage yourself somehow? Uh, as if, as if you believe that maybe somehow you're not uh, worthy to succeed or that somehow um, you're more being a failure, um, you're more comfortable not having completed something or being successful. <clears throat> you know, I, I didn't want to be that person. I didn't think I was um, necessarily, but I, I, I know that there have been times in the past where, you know, I've been doing really well, whether on program or not, and then um, I'll just sabotage myself for some no, reason. And I didn't want to do that anymore. And so, um, you know, on the 17th of February, I had about 40 days left for my training. And it was getting, it was, it was the hard, it was a hard 40 because I have to, um, hard 40 days because if you remember, um, I ran a half marathon distance in very end of December. So I was up to 13 miles, 13.1 miles in December. And I needed to go January, February, March to a marathon distance. And as you recall, I did. I ran a marathon actually three weeks ago in the marathon distance. So actually, 
January, February, I basically had two, <clears throat> maybe two and a half months to, to go from a half marathon distance to a marathon distance. I have to tell you that that was hard. <laughs> that was the crux of the, that was the crux of the training. That was the, uh, I mean, the marathon's going to be hard. Also, I, you know, I, I already ran the distance, so I know that, that, that it's going to be hard and it'll be fun to do it in Paris, actually. That'll be the fun part. But um, going from 13.1 miles up to 26, doubling your distance in basically eight to 10 weeks, that's where the rubber hit the road for me. And so I completely understand why I, I wrote that. I was probably on a run <laughs> when I wrote that. Um, no regrets in Paris, I have 40 days um, to, you know, how I conduct myself the next 40 days will, will tell me whether I have regrets in Paris. I was referring to the training. And, and and maybe the part of me that, that was pushing back against it and didn't, didn't want to complete the training um, because it was hard. Um, but I did. Uh, I completed the training. And I have to tell you, you know, I am sitting in Paris. I have no regrets about how I conducted either my eating program because I was in maintenance um, to get enough calories uh, to, to train for marathon. <clears throat> and I conduct, but maintenance is still an, an eating plan. I mean, I need to be strict on my plan, whatever that is, you know. Um, and I was strict on my uh, my fitness plan, and then I got here. So let me just talk a minute about maintenance because maintenance is a very important part of our program as is transition. Um, they're the two key elements after the weight loss portion. Many people believe that you know they go on a diet and they lose weight and they get to their goal weight and that's it. They're done. I mean, they're just you know. They're done. They're they'll go wait. You know, they're off this thing, kind of thing. <clears throat> and I have to tell you that my mindset changed dramatically um, with this journey of getting healthy. You know, it, it's not it's not our goal to to become dependent necessarily on the products forever and ever. Um, but it's not it's not the products that make the program. It's the portion control meal replacements are essential in the weight loss portion of this plan and transition. And once you've transitioned to maintenance, you can choose to continue using them, as I have done. I would not part with my brownie <coughs> and my um, chocolate chip cookie dough chewy bar. Uh, I just wouldn't. Don't ask me to give those up. I'm not gonna. So, um, <clears throat> I mean, who, who, where else can you get a brownie for dessert that is got that has 11 grams of protein in it? and only 15 grams of carbohydrates. I mean, that's that's a better nutritional profile than, you know, 90% of the, the quote unquote energy and protein bars that are out there on the market, like on the shelf, you know, in Whole Foods, at Trader Joe's, you know, in, in, in general GNC, all those places, you can't really find that profile. Um, everything is too high glycemic for my purposes. So I'm not, I'm not gonna eat a regular brownie, it's, it's my, why when I have something that tastes amazing and it's 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 wonderfully nutritional. So anyway, back to maintenance real quick. Um, people think that you know on, on a diet anyway you're off this thing and you can't wait to get off this thing and go back to eating normally. And I have to tell you, with this plan, it's, it's so radically changed my thinking. Um, with the book and the workbook, you know, if the the book is the Doctor of Health and then living a longer, healthier life with the workbook. Um, when I went through those and I discovered that I could live a different way, I could I could actually be a healthy person, not just look like one, not just um, you know I, I used to I used to uh, have something uh, that I would say to people you know well I I'm not, I might never be that skinny girl who can eat whatever she wants and never gain weight, but I can look like her, you know that's an ancient concept to me because um, I I do eat whatever I want. But I only want to eat those things that are healthy. And that's the key difference um, with this plan and with this um, with this program is that I didn't just transform into someone who looked like a healthy person. I transformed into a healthy person. Um, and so that's what I just, you know, I, I cannot say enough about my gratitude um, that this program is here, my gratitude for my health coach, my gratitude for Dr. A and my mentorship team. I mean, you know, I feel like I'm in the Oscars saying, <laughs> giving my thanks, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm an audience of one. <laughs> I'm an Oscar to myself. Um, 
All right, one more view here of, of this beautiful, beautiful city today. It's, it's a little overcast. A um, little bit of wind coming in and out, uh, making it a little crisp, but not crisp enough to put on a different jacket. I think I'll be fine today. Yesterday I went to the Louvre, and I was there for most of the afternoon. And then I went to the uh, Avenue Mukhtar, uh, which is a shopping avenue that's well known to the locals here. And you need anything, you know, food-wise, um, or restaurant-wise, or you know, trinket-wise, you go there. And I did. I got my... Um, got my green and green there actually. I got uh, a yellow bell pepper uh, and I got uh, a big yellow bell pepper. I mean I ate this thing like an apple. And I got uh, a package of five ounces of smoked salmon. So that was my lean and green for I think it cost me five euros total, maybe four euros for the whole thing as opposed to at the restaurant across the street from here who would give me a smoked salmon plate with probably the same amount of salmon for only 17, 1750 euros. So I'm doing it on my own. I'm putting together my own meals and, and saving some money here and there. So, um, and then, uh, yeah, just walked around uh, all day. I walked down to the, um, I walked actually down from here, from the Bir Hakim Bridge, past the Eiffel Tower, down to the d gardens of Tulip Tuers, I think they're called. They're the ones outside the Louvre. And I walked through those gardens with all the statues, and then I walked into the Louvre and I spent a couple hours in the Louvre. So now and then after that I went to the Avenue Mouffetard. So it was a busy day yesterday. Today, I think, I haven't decided yet, not quite. I think in Paris you just change your mind. But I do have a pass on the Bateau bus, which is the, the bus that runs along the Seine. And I'm going to, I think, hop on it at the Eiffel Tower and then just take it down to Notre Dame because I didn't make it to Notre Dame yesterday. So. <laughs> I, I, I got sidetracked, so I'm going to go to no Notre Dame today, and then I go to a little park on the Ile de Cité, and then I might go to the Orsay um, Museum. I might I might do kind of things that are along the battle bus route, uh, the eight stops that they have. I might do that today. Um, and then Versailles, I think, is going to be um, tomorrow. I believe I have that scheduled for Versailles tomorrow, so I'm very excited for that. But I <coughs> do want to tell you, last closing here, I know, oh gosh, we're in 12 minutes that I slept till noon today. Um, it was noon o'clock when I rolled out of bed. Um, couldn't sleep last night, finally, finally got to sleep. I think, I'm, I would say my schedule's normalizing, but I don't think sleeping till noon is, is, is quite normalizing in the right way, <laughs> in the right direction. So I might actually set my alarm tomorrow and get up at a reasonable time so I can get to, get to the train and get to Versailles. But uh, today is just a walking around Paris day, so you'll probably get a lot more pictures of just roundabout Paris. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and um, as always, if you uh, if you are someone you love wants to get healthy, um, you know, contact your health coach, and they will get you started on the path or restarted on the path to optimal health. All right, thanks so much. Bye bye.